want to look for jacks. See if there's some schools out here. The water is fairly flat, so if they're pushing, then he will be able to see their wakes or their backs, if anything. If not, then I'm just going to blind cast and see if we can pick up some redfish or a jack. We'll see. Now I'm gonna walk along the shoreline and just keep my eye out for any sign of fish activity. Oh my gosh, you guys, Jack's right here, look at him. They just came up and blew up. They just blew up on the surface so hard. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's going after it, he's going after it. Watch, watch. Watch this, watch this. This is gonna be insane. Watch this. Oh, there's a giant snapper. Dude, that was a giant mangrove snapper. Oh my gosh. Two giant jacks. I saw a couple sheep's head and a huge mangrove just followed me up. Oh my gosh. Right before the camera was on, they actually blew up on a mullet right here. It was absolutely unreal. Oh my gosh. There he is, he's on, oh my God. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. That was so cool. Oh baby. Oh my gosh, let's go. They're running this shoreline. I just pitched it up there parallel to the rocks. And she smoked it. I'm gonna take my backpack off. I gotta chase this thing. Let's go. Oh my gosh, chill. Oh my gosh. He's running straight out. I can't keep up with this dude. He's walking me like a, a Great Dane. Unreal. And we have a landed Jack Crevel. Let's get that hook out. This dude was barely hooked. Golly, right in that lip outside the mouth. Just look at that thing. What a brute. Oh my gosh, first set of Jacks I saw. And whenever they're in pairs like that, I think they're more aggressive because they have to compete for that lure, so it definitely helped if there was two. But yeah, let's let her go. She swam off so strong. Could not have gone any better. All right, you guys, so I was going back to get my stuff way down the jetty. I didn't bring my rod or my camera, and I literally saw another jack, so ran back down here, got the camera, gonna pick up the rod, and we're gonna be ready now. These fish are I think they're just swarming this edge, so let's see if we can uh, pick another one up. We're gonna keep on pushing. If nothing, then we will backtrack and go back to where we had those jacks blow up. I really wanna see if something's popping off down here at the end. Hey guys, I just spotted a jack right here. He got it, he got it, he got it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Gosh, I tightened my drag, so look at that. <laughs> He's just swirling on the surface. Oh, there goes the hook. Wasn't that unreal? I'm actually kind of glad that happened because we got a steep slope here and it is covered in algae. That was awesome. Came up, flashed me, went back down. I dropped my backpack, turned the camera on, tossed it out there. He came back up and then just did a 180 on it. Let's go, baby. So cool. Like I said, landing him there would be difficult, so not upset. Giant jack right here, y'all, but he has teeth marks out of his body. Looks like he's injured. He turned on it, he turned on it, he got it, he got it. Oh my gosh, he got wrecked by a shark. This dude is messed up. Oh my gosh, you guys see that? I've never seen a jack wrecked like that. He just completely spun around on that lure. Three casts at Jack's. Well, I don't remember if I lost or if I missed a hook set on the other one, but I'm not even blind casting. I'm just watching the, 
the edge here and they're just sitting up high. Oh, he's gonna break down there. All right, let's see if we can keep this dude on. Here's a good spot. Landing. This dude doesn't have nearly the fight as that first fish. Given, I guess, obvious reasons. It looks like he's been through World War II. Dude, today is not the best day for this jack. I just want to show you guys the carnage on that fish. Good gracious. Poor guy. All right. There we go. Fish in hand, and we were able to use the waves to aid us. Gosh dang, dude. That is a sea monster. I've never caught a jack like that. I've seen them in schools, but not like right here in my hand. Well, look at that, y'all. This jack has had one rough day. Oh my gosh, he got absolutely murked. Nevertheless, second fish on the rocks. We're gonna let this guy go quick because he is bleeding a bunch. They are very, very resilient. I've seen tons of jacks and even other species of fish swimming around with giant chunks eaten out of them. They're after it, they're after it, they're after it. Watch this, watch this. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, watch this. There he is. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. That was so wild. Oh my gosh, he's not even fighting. Unreal. Look at them, they're all just sitting there. They don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, I need a top water. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Their keel is gonna cut my line. There's so many. One, two, I can't even count. There's over seven. Oh my gosh, they don't know what's going on. Dude, one, two, I, I just saw eight, nine, ten. Unreal. I can't believe how many we're, we're seeing right now. Look at them. Now, if they were smart, their buddies would come by and take a swing at my line. There's a big sheep's head right there. I don't know how we're gonna land this, dude. I'm gonna have to get a little wet. Another giant, two giants right under. Look at that. Oh my, oh no, oh no, no. All right, buckaroo. They're not leaving, dude. All right, y'all. Main camera's not wanting to work, but there's one look at the jack. Let's go put it back. Swim off strong. That was our third jack. Landed, I'm super stoked. Could not have asked for a better afternoon. I really didn't expect much. The weather earlier was just, it was an abomination. It was ripping 30. The water was literally brown. It was just, I didn't want to fish at all. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it cleared up and we came out here and we got on some jacks. Right here. You guys see him? I don't have a long lens, but look at him. Freezing. 
Look at him. Not sure how well y'all could see that, probably not at all, but uh, just filmed a string of jacks coming through and I didn't even throw at them, but I don't really have a long enough lens. I don't know if you guys can see in the water very well, so I'm just gonna keep fishing. Why not? Watch this. Got it, he's on it. Oh, what the heck? First picky one of the day. Didn't want it. There's one, go for it. Jack right there. Jack right there. Lost her. There he is, there he is. Look at that, look at that. That thing is so skinny. There's a bunch, there's a bunch. They're on it, they're on it. Oh, they missed it, they missed it, they missed it. Where'd they go, where'd they go, where'd they go? Oh, they all spazzed. Oh, there's one came out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, that was a perfect shot. Where'd they go? Oh, oh, they missed it, they missed it, they missed it. I was saying that in my jetty fishing gear video. When they're up high, swim bait is much more efficient. Let's tie on a swim bait. We would have hooked both of those schools if I could just let that thing sit in the water a little bit longer. I'm just gonna have to go a little bit looser on the drag because if you cinch it completely and those fish have water to dive in, like if there's depth, then they can just about bend out most standard J hooks you see. All right, let's give this a shot. A little bit lighter, will sink slower, has a little, has a little more realistic appeal. So we're losing sun here, it's getting darker. I'm casting a shadow, which is not going to help us out. But I would like to put one on the granite by using this swim bait. There's one. Oh! We're going on a spree of missed hooks, hook sets. There's one. Watch this. There he is, there's a bunch. It's a jack rodeo. There's a bunch out here. I only saw one, but then as soon as I hooked that thing, I probably saw four more. Jack just cruised right under me. Now, like I said, can't go too tight. Looks like you broke me off way down there. Can't go too tight on these swim baits because the hooks aren't as strong as a treble hook on the spoon. That one, I should have just cinched the drag and tried to horse them up because once they start diving, it's, it's a gambling game at that point. Well, that one took a dive. Hopefully I can get retied and find another string of them before that sun gets too low. All right, y'all, we're gonna try a lure. I've actually never tried for jacks. The reason I'm trying this one, I think it's a uh, Rapala, Rapala, whatever you call it, is because I have put on some extremely strong inline hooks. So I can set that drag as tight as I want. This way, that jack can't dive down and break us off. Oh, I missed it. It came up and swung at it. Ooh, these jacks can be super dumb sometimes. I'll tell you what. Well, let's try a different word, lazy. There he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, find it, find it, find it. Oh, they swung at it. They missed it. Big jack, big jack, oh my gosh. So random. Didn't want it. What in the world? Had wanted nothing to do with it. I think that line is crossing them, possibly hitting their back. Oh yeah, there's more. Didn't see it, missed it. Gosh dang it. Now I've got a lure that they can't even find. Maybe they're 
they're still cruising. I haven't seen one for a while and turn the GoPro on and wham! Maybe I can catch up to him. Can I catch up? Can I catch up? Oh, there they are, there they are. Oh shoot, I'm gonna slip. Oh, he missed it, he missed it. Oh, they missed it, oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? That was unreal. There they are, he just chased it up, he chased it up. Or, that was a coincidence, I don't know. They're lurking. Now I wish I had a larger bait. Or a darker bait. Oh, there he is. Yep, there he is. He came up and engulfed that one. Okay, that was a blind cast. I knew they were here, though. Okay, my drag is tight. Hopefully my knot's strong. This one's going out more so than it's going down. Come here. That first one was definitely the largest. It's a whole different ball game when you have locked drag. Fish secured. Can we get up now? Let's go. This is why I love single hooks too right here. Way less imprint on the fish. Quick look at the lure. Well, there we go. Check out the ocean right now. Absolutely beautiful, flat, calm. I couldn't have asked for a better jetty fishing evening. What can I say? Everything just worked out perfectly. The water was clear enough to look in and see those jacks. We had just enough sun and the fish cooperated. So I had a blast. Let me know what you guys think. How do y'all like this jack fishing, sight fishing on the jetty where you can see them cruising? and then have that big explosion. I absolutely love it. I'm addicted to it. I, I honestly don't really like blind casting as much. It's just so much more fun to see that fish put the lure on its nose and watch him inhale it. With that said, if you guys did like the video, please, please, please drop a like. It helps my channel out a ton and YouTube will promote my videos to other people who might be interested in this kind of stuff. So with that said, if you guys haven't subscribed already, consider doing so down below. We have a lot more crazy action-packed videos coming. We might come out here at night and do some fishing. Maybe put a big light in the water and see if we can catch a jack, some redfish. Who knows? The, the possibilities are endless. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys making it this far into the video. With that said, we're gonna head back, get walking, and uh, see you guys in the next video. There he is. Why did I do that? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. No, I don't wanna lose this lure. Don't wanna lose this lure. Walking back, and I've seen a couple jacks that I missed. Oh gosh, we're gonna lose him. He's pulling so hard. I'm totally packed up, ready to leave. Whoa, what are we doing? Look at that jack, y'all. There we go, y'all. Single hook out, so easy. What do y'all think about that? Let's give them a quick release. Heck yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Guys. This is just unreal.
Thank you.